My Super Golden Crisp cereal is the life of this nutritious breakfast. Can't believe there's eight vitamins hiding in that sweet, crispy wheat. Well, well, Frankie the Finn and my old pal Sharky. What's up, fellas? Your time, sugar bear. We're cruising for a crunch. How about a vitamin packed punch? Let's get it. Last flight to the coast. Thanks for the lift, boys. I can't get enough Super Golden Crisp. It's got crunch with punch. Yeah. There's something new in Gotham City. It's Batman! Like you've never seen him before. Figures and vehicles sold separately. Flashy Duds, Batman. My Tech Shield suit protects me. Even against this sludge, your poison can't hurt my Tech Shield suit. Bye, Batman. Think again, Joker. Fly, Batcopter. Fire! Get him! Ah, where does he get these great weapons? You're finished, Joker. Tech Shield Batman. Batcopter and Joker sold separately. Part of Batman, the Dark Knight Collection. Who are you waiting for? Ice Cream Jones. And new ice cream cone cereal. My name's Ice Cream Jones. I'm bringing the kids my ice cream cone. A crunchy new cereal for breakfast. The great taste of ice cream cones. Whoa! I'll have vanilla. Give me chocolate chip. They look like little ice cream cones. And taste like them. The crunchy part of this nutritious breakfast. My name's Ice Cream Jones. With the great taste of ice cream cones. New ice cream cone cereal. Terminator 2, the future warrior brought back to save our world. His mission, to destroy the evil T-1000. In his mobile assault vehicle, Terminator scours the streets for his deadly foe. Adios, amigo. It's the ultimate confrontation as power arm Terminator faces certain death, only to return stronger and more powerful as techno-punch Terminator. Hasta la vista, baby. Terminator 2, I'll be back. the 31st century. Ulysses killed the giant Cyclops when he rescued the children and his son Telemachus. But the ancient gods of Olympus are angry and threaten a terrible revenge. Mortals, you defy the gods? I sentence you to travel among unknown stars. Until you find the kingdom of Hades, your bodies will stay as lifeless as stone. Ulysses, the way back to Earth has been wiped from my memory. You are alive, my son. What's the emergency, Shirka? Distress signal on D-92. What is that? Distress signal? It's coming from a planet made from a form of crystal. Give me a visual display on the central screen. What is it, Father? Whoever you 
maybe if you are receiving this message, tridents are attacking us. Our weapons are all gone. Come to our aid. Tridents? Who are you? I am Calypso, queen of this planet. Oh, please help us. Father, we have to go to her rescue. There's something strange here. I can feel it. Wait. Please, Father, please. There's no time to lose. Ulysses, it looks like a trap to me. A trap? Why do you think that? This woman isn't really in danger. There's something strange. She's not telling the truth. Well, I don't think so. Look at the screen, Yumi. I shall calculate the probability of a false distress call. Sure, girl. Possibility of false information high. Probability of trap over 70%. Father, do you think it's a trap, too? Hey, Yumi, uh, what do you mean it's a trap? No, I'm sure that it's a trap. Here we go again. Nobody explains anything to me. Push me to one side. I'm only an object. Start approach procedure to the Crystal Planet. I'm going to save Calypso. But, Father, why? If Calypso is under attack from Tridents, if she is fighting off the armies of Poseidon, we are bound to go to her help. Even if it is a trap, I have to take that risk. But Calypso herself may be the trap. I'll be careful, Yumi. Don't worry. But if we don't do it, we will always remember with sadness that we failed Calypso when she needed us. Father! I'm going now. Telemachus, I leave the Odyssey in your hands. Mm -hmm. Shirka, stay in contact. Calypso, come in. Thank you for your brave offer, visitor. But alas, you and your ship have come too late. Too late? Where are the Tridents? They have gone, and now a bitter cold will kill us all. The Tridents have fractured our crystal sun. It will lose its warmth. Without it, we have no life. But I can help you. Your help would be useless. We will disappear like our sun. Isn't there some way to repair it? No, that's impossible. An extinguished sun is a dead sun. Oh, traveler, there is nothing anyone can do to save our world. Wait! Don't give up, Calypso. I'm going to try something. Send the master repair robot here, Shirka. On its way, Ulysses. Sun. Oh, I'm so worried. Suppose we went too. You cannot leave the ship. In Ulysses' absence, Telemachus, you are responsible but... for the Odyssey. Ulysses is probably safe. He is very wise. Uh, here, Telemachus, share a nail with me. Calypso. Calypso. What is your wish, O'Gray? Is Ulysses repairing your crystal sun? Our plans brought him to you. Yes, all is according to plan. Good. I rely on you to make this his final trial. What are your orders? What must I do now, Master of Olympus? You know very well. Rid me of Ulysses and all his companions. Great Zeus, May he be crushed like the crystal sand. I understand, O Zeus.
Welcome, Ulysses. Calypso the Queen. Calypso the Queen. Calypso. I have arrived, Calypso. Welcome to our planet, Ulysses. How do you know my name? The crystal sun concentrates all energies, all forces throughout space. It collects every kind of energy, even the mind of Ulysses. Oh. That's how we know that you are looking for the route back to Earth, your home planet. And do you know the route back there? By the time you repair our sun, we'll have calculated your route to Earth. I need your help, Ulysses. I will soon know if I can make the repairs. Repair it quickly. Father, tell me, is everything all right? Yes, you mustn't worry, children. Our courage will be rewarded. We are going to find the way back to Earth at last. Really, Father? Are you sure? Trust me, as soon as I have repaired the Crystal Sun, I'll get back to you. All right, but be careful. I will, my son. This is the Crystal Sun, which provides energy to my planet. Explain to me what is wrong with it, Calypso. Soon its center will dim, its brilliant light will go out. Repair it quickly, you will save us, and we'll discover the route back to Earth for you. It's sand. It's all sand, Calypso. Calypso! mean my queen out get out both of you I don't want to see you anymore why why you Ulysses Calypso what happened I asked to be left alone are we still to execute Ulysses as planned very well your orders will be carried out. No, wait. Put him in prison, but do not kill him. I prefer to wait. <gasps> well, go on. Why do you look at me that way? Your... your hair. My hair? <gasps> you love him, Calypso. Calypso? It's nothing. Forget it. Go now. See to Ulysses. Very well, my queen. Ah! Stop. No, stop, stop. I don't want to fight you. Let me see Calypso. Do not struggle. Our queen has ordered that you be put in prison. Come along. Calypso ordered that? So Yumi was right with her premonitions again. We have had no word from Ulysses. What's going on? Shirka, can't you make contact with him? Ulysses does not answer. I will continue searching. Uh-oh, don't look now, but I don't like this at all. Shirka! Shirka! Can you hear me? Oh, Father! Father, what is it? We were so worried here. Repairs are proving more difficult than I'd expected, but don't worry. Take care of the Odyssey. I leave the children in your care, Shirka.
Calypso, have you brought me the precious elixir? Let me have it. Ulysses, drink this. Why have you put me in prison? I just wanted to help you. Drink this potion, Ulysses. I gathered every drop of it myself. Drink, Ulysses. You want to poison me, is that it, Calypso? No, it's not poison. It's the most precious elixir of our planet. It will keep you alive. If you believe that I want to poison you, then do not drink it, poor mortal. Go and follow your own destiny if you don't trust me. What are you trying to do? What is the meaning of this, Calypso? You must go on with the plan all the way to the end. Give me time, Great Zeus. There is no time. You must take the life of Ulysses now. Great Zeus. What is it, Calypso? No, nothing, Great Zeus. Calypso, you know the penalty if you betray the gods. Yes. I would so love to keep you alive, Ulysses. Oh, my queen, I have brought him. Here he is. Come in, Ulysses. Here is a prisoner. Leave us. But that would be dangerous. It's not your concern. I'll be all right. As you wish. Why did you come to my rescue? You shouldn't have. You should have left me to die, Ulysses. Now everything has become so complicated in my head and in my heart. What will you do with me? I have to obey the orders of the gods. I must kill you. Calypso. Defend yourself. Draw your sword. Go on, defend yourself, Ulysses. Why? Why? If I do not kill you, the great Zeus himself will take revenge on me and destroy our entire planet. No. Come, Ulysses, you must defend yourself. But what do you want, Calypso? Oh! 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 No, Calypso, you can't sacrifice yourself to save your planet. Ah! Stop, Calypso. Defend yourself! No, stop! Oh! oh. Calypso. <laughs> Why not, Ulysses? Why not kill me? Never, Calypso. I could never do that. It's the only way that you'll be saved, and my planet, too. It's the only way out. See what has happened. They're your tears. It's because you were crying. I don't want to lose you, Ulysses. Calypso. Stop, Ulysses. Look. The whole planet was only waiting for your tears to come alive again. No, no, it's too late. Zeus is against us. All my tears will change nothing. Calypso. Ulysses. Calypso, you have not kept your promise. Oh, great Zeus, forgive me. I cannot do it. I cannot. You have betrayed me. You know what will happen to you for disobedience. Wait, 
Zeus, this planet is returning to life. I beg you, please be merciful. Zeus, take my life, but spare Ulysses and my planet. Whoever defies Zeus has to be punished. Father, don't leave this spot, Yumi. Emergency alert. Fire. Telemachus, return to command post. The Odyssey is being attacked by Tridents. Ulysses! Don't go away. Stay close behind me. Shirka, quick, send me another shuttle at once. We can't hold out much longer. Ulysses! Together. I will stay here and share the fate of my sisters. Oh. I'll save you whether you want me to or not. Ulysses! Oh. Calypso! Oh. I could have died and never known. I'm so happy that we did meet Ulysses. Thank you. Ulysses! Oh. No, Calypso!
pose for army gear. Weapons check. Your machete has a hidden power. There's a troop of six and a lookout tower. That canteen, so much more I hear. There are planes and torpedoes in this army gear. Take a look at this watch I wear. Weapons and troops are gathered there. An army and an army, all right here. We're the volunteers for army gear. Join the army gear, the army in an army. Open to reveal two worlds of battle action from Galoob. B five O hum. Come on, you guys! It's only a little. A hungry giant. Hungry for a big honey taste. Big taste, honeycomb. Big taste. Anyway, send in the Marines! We're the Space Marines! Drake, Ripley, Avebone, Bishop, and I'm Hicks, armed with the latest high-tech heavy metal. Look out, Hicks! The Queen's gonna crown ya! My bug rocker's on a roll! Bull alien attacking! Eat torch, bug brain! Alien invasion problem? Send in the Marines! Aliens! Send in the Marines! Space Marines! Aliens! Since I can't get tricks from kids, I'll make some myself. It's part of this nutritious breakfast. With orangey oranges, lemony lemons, gravity grapes, fruity fruits. <laughs> Hope I didn't gum it up. Huh? Dummy rabbits? In fruity flavors? Uh-oh, I better hide them. But where? In the box of Silly Rabbit, where you kids will find four free gummy rabbits. Gummy rabbits in tricks. Stay tuned. Coming up next on Battle of the Planets, G-Force battles the evil forces of Spectra aboard the Solar Express on a train ride you will never forget. This is terrible. The bridge is out and there's no way I can stop the train. <gasps> Forgive me if I leave you now, but I have business elsewhere. Who is this strange woman? And what link does she have to Zoltar, the evil ruler of Spectra? Will Chief Anderson be lost forever? Be sure to watch this exciting episode coming up next. Center Neptune, Seven Zark Seven. Watching, warning against surprise attack by alien galaxies from beyond space. Earth's entire galaxy, always five, acting as one, dedicated, inseparable, invincible. At this moment, you're looking at Center Neptune, where we monitor the galaxy for enemy invaders from outer space. Come inside, and you will find a very irritated robot trying to cope with a malfunction in the reference voltage generator of the synchronous image amplifier. I think. Which in layman's language means that nothing is working right. And at a time when I'm practically alone here at the nerve center, the entire G-Force team, including Chief Anderson, is heading for our mountain retreat headquarters for a few days. And now this has to happen. 
Right now, that evil fiend Zoltar could be planning to, well, who knows what? And I wouldn't know a thing about it. <coughs> yes, One Rover One, I know you're here, but frankly, you're not programmed for electronic repairs. <coughs> Come to think of it, I wonder if you could be adapted to act as a kind of electronic repair dog. Say, how would you like to work for a living? I don't think that idea went over too big. Well, it was just a thought. I could radio Chief Anderson, but that's an admission of weakness. I'll handle this all by myself. See it? You're right. We're being followed. There's no doubt about it. That's a strange-looking car. Hang on back there, Chief, and I'll see if I can lose it. Look, it's still back there. I've got to get out of here. I feel like a can of sardines about to be open. to finish us off. Did you get a good look at that driver? Yeah, and I hope I never see her again. Of our time. Sorry we're late. We had a slight interruption on the way here. Nothing to speak of. Only a masked woman in a rocket ship who tried to kill us with a magnetic exploding rose that she carried in her teeth. And she had six long, wavy arms, right? With a bunch of daisies in every hand. And then you woke up. All joking aside, folks, it really happened. Come on, Jason, you gotta be kidding. If you're not, then we've got a real problem on our hands. And whenever there's a problem... Look for Zoltar. He's got more tricks than an Oriental magician's convention. I think the Spectrons are at it again. But if we're having another invasion, why hasn't Zark picked it up? Gremlins? He's been complaining of problems with his image amplifier. Then I suggest somebody listen to Zark's complaints. All we need is to have Zoltar on our necks and no warning system. Oh, boy. Whoa, just the thought of Zoltar gets Jason. Me too. I do not question your dedication, Zoltar, but my best plans are always ruined by your incompetent lieutenant. My own sister leads this new mission. Mala, that is good news indeed. She is everything I could wish for. Beautiful, crafty, remorseless, and totally dedicated to the survival of Spectra. In Mala's hands, the mission cannot fail. You could not have made a choice that would please me more. You have...
have failed in your mission, Yana. Anderson and his driver have not been eliminated. No, Commander Mala, you must be mistaken. I saw the explosion with my own eyes. They could not have survived the detonation of my rose. Do not dispute me, Yana. I am never mistaken. Then I am sorry. It was not your fault. But I see now that I must attend to these small details myself. Go and prepare the explosives for tomorrow's mission. I'll be on the train, and I'll assign the other members of G-Force to keep close surveillance. What's up? Zoltar has threatened to blow up the Solar Express. On its maiden voyage? The very first monorail to circle the globe certainly makes a tempting target for Zoltar. There are thousands of points vulnerable to sabotage. How are you going to narrow it down, Chief? There's no way, but I can make an educated guess. How about the long bridge span near Sheldlack? On the nose, Mark. You and I will be on the train. The rest of you will cover us. We'll leave at once. Oh, poor Jason. Left behind. Do we have time to locate him? Not if we have to leave right away. Besides, somebody has to hold down the fort here. He's not going to like it. Can't be helped. Let's go. I don't usually pick up hitchhikers, Miss... Lani Hill. I don't usually thumb, but my car broke down. Then it was lucky I came by when I did. There's not much traffic at this hour. Thanks for everything, Jason. You've been very kind. My pleasure. I'd like to see you again, but it's impossible. Goodbye then, Lanny. And good luck. I'm sorry I'm late. My car broke down. That's a mean-looking woman. Where'd everybody go? Something must have come up. Wow, what a day. No G-force, no note. Well, I'll check with Zark. He'll know what's going on. The Solar Express. That's where they all must be. Without me. Wasn't there supposed to be someone from public relations to meet you here, Chief? There was and there is. How do you do? I'm Mala Latroz. Welcome aboard the Solar Express. That's very kind of you. She looks scary. Shh, she'll hear you. It's quite a train. This should be a very interesting trip. It should be very interesting. This way, please. I just had a call from Jason. He's very upset because he was left behind by G-Force. Now he knows how I feel all the time. Oh, I know robots aren't supposed to feel, but I have to tell you, my cognocapacitors pulsate furiously sometimes. Like right now, when I think about being aboard that fantastic solar train. It's the first monorail that goes completely around the world, you know. Thank goodness my image amplifier is behaving itself. At least I'll be able to keep an eye on the train's progress. I don't care what they say about robots not being able to feel. I have this sensation deep down in my Trigatron that Zoltar is about to spring one of his evil surprises. She goes toot, 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 round the world. So what are we standing here waiting for? Let's go.
You must find your work fascinating, Ms. Latroz. You have no idea how fascinating, but please, why don't you call me Mala? Mala. What an unusual name. It would be nice if you could join us for dinner tonight. If you're not busy, Mala. Your young friend doesn't like me. I'm sure you're mistaken, Mala. Maybe I'm wrong, but that woman gives me the creeps. She reminds me of somebody, but I can't think who. The explosive should be taken there at once. Lani, you will be in command. Thank you. I have forgiven you for allowing that young man to bring you to our headquarters. Be sure that you merit my forgiveness, Lani. There must be no errors. Everything has been checked and rechecked. The trestle is wide enough for your rocket planes to land. Go to it. I have work of my own to do, so I shall sign off now. Well, my Trigatron began to function correctly, and just in time. There's something suspicious about that public relations woman. And to play it safe, I've had all of our passengers removed at the last stop. I've got to keep a very close watch on this train. <sighs> Rocket planes? Seven Zark Seven to key up. You're closest to the trestle. Urgent, you investigate. Do you read me? Roger. Zark, you're right. That girl on the bridge. Real bad news. Sister Mala. There isn't a chance in the world that you'll get away with this. I beg to disagree. Everything is going exactly as planned. <laughs> we cannot let your Solar Express go into operation. It would decrease the Earth's vulnerability to invasion and conquest. Do you know why I was selected for this mission? Because of your great warmth, gentleness, and love of humanity. Amusing. You might call it a family matter. I believe you know my brother, the great Zoltar of Spectra. Zoltar? Like brother, like sister. What is wrong with those lights? Oh, it was only momentary. As I was saying... Oh! G-Force! 
You don't look very happy to see me, Mala of Spectra. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going anywhere, Mala. Princess, intercept rocket planes that are reinforcing Spectra agent on train. is out and there's no way I can stop the train. Oh! <laughs> Forgive me if I leave you now, but I have business elsewhere. If there is one thing I have learned from my dear brother, it is how to plan ahead. Zark 7 to Phoenix. Take prepared position north of Shell Black Bridge. That sure was a close one. You can always count on Tiny to be there when you need him. Uh, get a medal for this one. So Zoltar wins again. For the moment, yes, but the bridge will be replaced, and the train can be replaced. You'll see. What do you say we head back for home? I'm getting kind of hungry. Oh, Tiny. No, Tiny's right, Princess. Let's not stand here crying over spilled milk. We've got better things to do. Come on, let's go. Despite what Princess said, Zoltar really didn't win. No one was injured in the attack on the train, and the evil forces of Spectra have been driven back to their own planet. And, what's more important, Chief Anderson and every G-Force member is well and safe. I'm sure they're all back here at Center Neptune by now. We're here, Zark. Hi, Zark. Just checked in to see if you've got all your controls in working order. Yes, sir. All ticking smoothly again. I hope you can do the same for that train, the Solar Express. Nothing to it, Princess. A piece of cake. I can have it operative again in no time. That's great. Mark, I really was worried about you on this last mission. You worried about me? Why? Because I care for you, Mark. Gee, Princess, I go for you too, but you shouldn't worry about me. I'm quite proficient at taking care of myself. I mean, I like the fact that you're thinking of me, but I don't want you to worry your pretty face. You really think I'm pretty? See there? Even one Rover One thinks you're the best looking girl in the whole solar system. <laughs>
It's coming. Think of And it tastes so sweet. You'll hop when you eat. Kellogg's Honey Smack. Tastes so sweet. I see you. hop when you eat. Think of Sweet part of this nutritious breakfast. What are those kids up to? They so sweet. You hot when you eat. Big up. We're in crew. Levanus and his Neo Sapien E frames are attacking. Sorry, Jack on. Why would Canopy be down? Get into action along with me, Wolbronski. I'm gonna give him a taste of my Gatling gun missile launcher and grappling hook. That'll soften him up for Napier with his fusion cluster missiles, that XO flamethrower. We even got backup. It's mad he blasted away. They're turning to him and at home. I'm gunned it out classed again. Looking for more excitement? The XO Squad video game is coming soon. The signal goes out. Crime is on the rise. Batman returns. Exploding with power, the bat ski boat thunders ahead, bolting onto land for a missile attack. Gonna fly! My dear Penguin Commandos, the time has come to punish Batman! Batman? Deep dive Batman surfaces. Fire! Tearing into battle, Batman blasts his torpedo. Penguins all wet. Gotham City's greatest hero, Batman returns. To get that great berry taste in Crunchberry cereal, Captain Crunch sails high seas to a land filled with food some danger. There grow the sweetest, juiciest berries, but they're still not Crunchberries. No, not till Crunch Power locks their sweet berry taste in, so it's tough to sog out. And only then does Captain Crunch return with my tasty Crunchberries for kids everywhere. My God, what a cereal! Crunchberries are a very good part of a balanced breakfast. Exciting adventure. Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs hit the trail to ride herd on Nemesis and his Sidewinder Squadron. It's rough and tumble until Gapler shows up for the showdown. And it's up to Fireball to make it or break it. Don't miss this exciting adventure of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. One of our most perilous adventures, and among the most threatening to the freedom of the new frontier, began, as they so often do, in the dark lair of Nemesis. The vapor zone is boring, and it's getting worse. My range riders have failed. They bring me nothing but defeat. Being the biggest outlaw in the galaxy isn't all it's cracked up to be. Nemesis, I have great news! Ho hum. Well, go ahead. Make my day. My Wranglers and I have just taken over the Medicine World's refinery on planet Alamo. It's a glorious day for our dimension, boss. This is your big news? What do I need with another refinery? Medicine Wells produces alkalite. Alkalite, one of the rarest and most powerful elements in the known galactic territory. Well, Gettler, maybe you finally did something right. What is your situation? So far, we've been undetected, but this is the mother load of alkalite. I'll need some help. There isn't room to fit it all in my ships. You've got it, and I'm coming along for the ride. Wonderful, boss. I think that's just what you need. 
Don't worry about what I need, Range Rat. You botch this and you spend the rest of your days chopping cactus in the Badlands with your bare hands. Oh no, not that! You can trust me to pull this one off, Chief. Oh, pity I you get along, little doggies. <laughs> Better not get too excited yet. Nemesis to all trail bosses. We're going on a stampede. With that much alkalite in my control, I can turn the new frontier into another vapor zone. Back on planet Yuma, we were enjoying a lazy afternoon, when suddenly we received an emergency call from Commander Eagle. April, troubles are brewing. What is it, Daddy? What's up? We've detected a huge fleet of Outrider ships that seem to be headed toward planet Alamo. That's in King Jare's territory. That's right. But communications are down. They're not answering our signals. I have a meeting with the Frontier Congress in a couple of hours. I don't know what Nemesis has up his sleeve this time, but it doesn't look good to me. We need your help, Star Sheriffs. You've got it, sir. Get there pronto. There's no time to lose. Time to hit the saddles, gang. We're burning daylight. We're off! You know, one of these days, I'm gonna find myself some time to go fishing. Dreamer! Gentlemen of the Frontier Congress, there's only one reason Nemesis would send his entire fleet to a planet as remote as Alamo. Alkalite, the source of all that planet's energy. It's found nowhere else in the Frontier. Don't they simply use it to control their weather? On planet Alamo, yes. But in the hands of Nemesis, there's no telling what evil could be done. It could turn forests into deserts, poison the air we breathe. And he would do it, given half a chance. True, but it's even worse than that, Congressman. He could change the molecular structure of matter, actually absorb one dimension into another. Nemesis could take us over! That's why we must act immediately. Ramrod and its crew are already on their way. And the Star Cavalry is saddled up and ready to ride. <laughs> Nemesis has troubled us long enough. The time has come to finally put a stop to these vapor vigilantes. Once and for all. <laughs> arrived at Planet Alamo just ahead of Nemesis and his Outrider fleet. Look at them all. We're gonna have a fight on our hands this time. Well, not till we've refueled and scouted out the situation. Now let's not bite off more than we can chew, mates. Nemesis is too crafty to be trifled with. Alamo's within range. Do we attack? Nemesis, I have the Ramrod vehicle in sight. Preparing to land. Ramrod? Why, those pesky star sheriffs. I'll have to throw them off the track. Send the Sidewinder Squadron to attack the main city. That'll put them on a wild goose chase. They're attacking the city! King Jare, the star sheriffs were sent here to defend the planet Alamo. And that's what we'll do. With everything we've got. You bet. Right, we'll take care of them. No, wait. Huh? The people have all been moved to safety. We evacuated them when we first saw Nemesis' fleet on radar. Except for a garbled message from a settler, we've lost touch with our power plant at Medicine Wells. This attack is to draw us away from their real goal, our Alkalite. Yes, of course. Why didn't we think of that earlier? Alkalite! King Jare, I'm certain you're right. This puts the pieces of the puzzle together, and I'm afraid it's not a pretty picture. If Nemesis gets control of our Alkalite, 
It could mean the end of the new frontier. We're depending on you. You got it. Let's hit the train. Come on, mates. Filling the wagons as fast as we can, Chief. Yeah, but that's not fast enough. I want every bit of alkaline off this planet. There's no time to dilly dally. Okay, Chief, we'll drain this world dry. Nemesis will be here soon to get loaded. We won't keep him waiting, will we? Right. Nemesis, after this, you'll never make fun of me again. Huh? What's that? Not Ramrod! This could ruin everything! Open fire! That's it, Medicine Wells. They're shooting at us. Now let's return the favor. Right. Something's out there, ambushing us from those trees. You got that right! And look at the size of that bushwhacker! Get ready for a wild ride! Look out below! This foreman's got friends! Big friends! Looks like it's time for Ramrod. Right you are. Take it, Fireball. Here it goes. Ramrod will now take navigational control. Acknowledge, April. Navigational control on. Ramrod challenge phase one. Head up, up, move them out. Power stride and ready to ride. Claim our skies!
lot of activity. My guess is they're getting ready to move the Alkalite. It's raining, but this is a weather control planet. It never rains here, unless... Sega Rider, my sensors indicate they've shut off the environmental regulator. Which means those wrestlers are taking every ounce of Alkalite they can lay their hands on. It also means they shut off their electro guard. Then all we have to do is get past the sentries. Let's get those claim jumpers. Come on, chaps. <laughs> Everything okay? Yep. We'll keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. Come on, you tuna. Take the bait. What's this? Huh? <laughs> you hear something? Nah, it's just a rain. I heard they have parties on this planet. What's a party? Beats me. Need some kind of car key. I'll use my EBU. It worked! Time's a waste of... Now's my chance! It's time for you chaps to head back home to the Vapor Zone. What's going on? Trouble, boss. We got gate crashers. The Star Sheriffs! Alert all Wranglers! They must be stopped! <laughs> a little showdown. Look out, Fireball! <laughs> Star Sheriff! Funny? Fireball! the vapor zone. Good work, Fireball! Huh? Come on! The Alkalite! That's it, Gatwa! You'll ride your back 
Lux Wheels of the Badlands from now on. Nemesis, look! The Star Cavalry! A rescuer? We'll see about that. Attack! Hit him! We finally got Nemesis where we want him. Better make tracks. Nemesis is getting away. His scorpion craft is too fast. But don't worry, his day will come. Daddy, Daddy. April. Now that's what I call a down-home homecoming. Congratulations. As usual, lads, you did a sterling job. It's what you call teamwork, sir. Yes, but the victory's not ours yet. You can be sure we have not seen the last of Nemesis. So stand firm, Star Sheriffs. Your work has just begun. At that moment, none of us realized just how true those words were. For our greatest adventures lay ahead on the new frontier. My buddies need a place to hide out. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> oh, did I scare you? Oh, I do that so well. If you take us home, we'll kiss your Aunt Martha. <laughs> we'll eat your peas. And we hope you know lots of girls. Hey, the name's Boglitz. You sold separately. And we're looking for good homes. Maybe yours. <laughs> Beware, the mutant seeking sentinel. Target identified. Mutant apprehended. Wanna mix it up, big boy? My adamantium claws will get rolled back. I've always had trouble with man. My optic blast will give him trouble. Firing projectile arm. Now, sentinel, you will be defeated. Arr! Sentinel robot playset and X-Men action figures. Each sold separately. But break this one thing. <laughs> Make them, take them to the back study. Smash them, mash them. Now that you study a little. And now you're hey, a little out of shape. That's the way you go is when you play the Great Escape. The Great Escape game. Race through the crazy jam factory without getting sliced, or smashed, or mushed. Hey, this is fun. I'm almost done. Maybe you yeah. want to know too late. That's the way you do it when you play the Great Escape.
In the last episode of Robotech, Ritai had taken his Micronian prisoners to an audience with Dulsa, the supreme leader of the Zentradi Armada. The jump through hyperspace and the disclosure of the ultimate Zentradi plan to destroy the Earth after it recovers the SDF-1 and the hidden protoculture factory on board leaves Lisa, Rick and Ben in a melancholy state of mind. Their only hope of escaping in time to warn Captain Global of this impending threat to Earth and its inhabitants lies in their ability to outmaneuver their giant captors. Well, we gotta put our heads together. There must be some way of escaping. Hey, I've been thinking about a plan that might get us out of here. When we kissed before, Lisa, you remember how the aliens reacted? They were astounded, as if they'd never seen anything like it. Yeah, you're right. That's weird. They didn't know what to make of it. It was almost like it uh, scared them or something. So when the guards come to feed us, we'll do it again. Yeah, maybe it'll throw them long enough for us to make a break for it. You must be joking. I won't do it. But, Commander... I mean it, Ben. I'm serious. I won't kiss him. He made up that absolutely ridiculous scheme just because he wants to kiss me. I know I may be naive, but I'm not stupid. Just a minute. You think you're so attractive I'm scheming up a way to kiss you? I wouldn't think of kissing you unless it were life or death. Well... Hey, that's all right. If she doesn't want to kiss you, it's okay. It's no problem. I'm more than willing to volunteer my lips for the job. Ah. Mm -hmm. oh. Commander-in-Chief Dolza, we've been unable to find out exactly what the Micronians know. Then we must send spies to the SDF-1. You're right, sir. If the Micronians have any information about Robotech's protoculture, we must find out about it at once. Now what? I agree. Hmm. I would relish the opportunity to see the Micronians in their natural surroundings. So would I. Right. But where will we find anyone willing to be reduced to the size of a micro and to infiltrate that bizarre culture? That will be difficult. Sir, let us undertake the mission. You'll volunteer? Yes, yes sir. sir. Mm, that's lucky. Only one guard and he's half asleep. You know, your idea? Maybe we should try it after all, Rick. Well, don't do me any favors. The information on this video is important, and it's my mission to bring it back. And I'm willing to do whatever I must to save it, even if it means having to kiss you. Now you're beginning to sound like an officer. My, my, it's the mission all of a sudden. Just don't forget, it's your mission too. Well, let's get on with it. Well, it might help if we wait for one of them to show up. Huh? Everybody into place. Ben, take your position at the door and stand by. Gotcha. This is our best chance. Stay on your toes. I'm ready. It's your move. Well, pucker up. It worked! <gasps> Let's go! No, wait, guys! <gasps> huh? It's not who you think. It's me, Max. Look! What a relief. We thought you were dead. How the heck did you get that enemy uniform? I'll tell you later. I'm afraid somebody might come by. I'd say the important thing right now is for us to all get out of here. Okay, I heard that. Okay, now. Up you go. Now, hold hey! on a minute, Ben. All right. What's the idea? We'll just put you in this pocket by yourself so, uh, so you don't interrupt the lovebirds, huh? I just hope that Rico and those other two are the right choice for the job. I believe that once they're inside SDF-1, they will be just fine. I'm not entirely sure. The ways of the Micronians are difficult to comprehend. I don't see anyone coming. Boy, Lieutenant, you really had me fooled. I mean, well, maybe I'm speaking out of turn, but I thought you preferred younger women. Now you seem to like the more mature. But, but wait a minute, Max. The only reason we did that was to escape. Oh, mum's the word. I promise you won't hear me telling anybody about it when we get back to the base. Now see no, here, Corp. If you two keep making it. so much noise, somebody's gonna notice us. It's all clear. Here we go. So far, so good. Ooh. He didn't notice anything. Ooh. Hey, huh? you there! Hold on a minute. Uh oh. Trouble. Time to go. We've been Run, discovered. Max. Oh. Uh. Ah. Hang on, you guys. This may get rough. You're getting awful close. Change modes, Max. Gotcha. The only question now is, where are we going? General Bertai. Yes. What is it? 
Sir, the prisoners have escaped. What? I know. These Micronians are quite amazing. We'll recapture them, sir. Let's make sure that you do retire. Sir! There's one way to lose these guys. We'll take the elevator to another level. Bye-bye. Out of the way, man. I'm losing power. It's overheating. Try and get the door closed. I'll try. So much for them. In a couple of minutes, the plane will blow. What do we do now? Commander? You'll just have to try and blast us out of here. Okay, let's go. Roger. I've got the laser rifle. This way, let's move it. Follow me. Everybody run! Come on! What's that? Come on, keep going. Just a little bit further. I think we'll be safe around this corner. Oh, boy. I thought we were goners for sure that time. I wonder if Max and Ben are all right. I hope so. Huh? Oh. <gasps> you see what I see? This is absolutely incredible. So that's why all the aliens look the same. They're all clones. Well, what about the smaller containers? I don't believe what's happening to them. I can't imagine how they're doing it, but somehow the aliens are being shrunk down to human size. Someone's coming. Let's get out of here. Run! Uh-oh. I think we're coming to the end of the line. This is it. Quick, Ben, jump. I'll get the door. Go! Ah. Ah. So, Brintai, have the Micronians been recaptured? No, I'm sorry to report they haven't. Their size makes them difficult to find. Well, Breach I, sir, responsibility was yours, and this failure will be entered in the record. I'm relieving you of active duty for the time being, Commander. Yes, sir. But then who'll be responsible for those spies? Azonia will now be in charge of that operation. What? But turn the command over to Azonia? Commander Azonia is a loyal subject who has never failed me yet. You know something? I would never have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. So that's what the aliens meant about becoming microns. I guess. Do you think that human beings and Zentradi could be genetically related? What? Yes, I mean, even though the aliens are giants now, in the beginning they were probably the same size as we. Think so? It could be that over the years, they developed a means of rearranging their molecular substructure to deal with any hostile environment. It still sounds unbelievable to me. Just wait, hear me out. If people could create life in any size they wanted, then it follows they could reconstruct their basic genetic makeup for any situation. You believe they can actually reconstruct themselves? Oh, come on, Rick. You saw it yourself. They're able to reduce themselves to human size. Hmm. There's no reason to believe it can't work the other way. I guess you're right. But the big question is, how do they do it? I believe it has to do with this protoculture they're always talking about. Otherwise, why would they have been so insistent in trying to find out what we knew about it? Look out! Ah! No! Ma'am, help! You can't give up! We're both still able to make a report about what we saw. All the more reason you should try to get out of here, Rick. Not without you! Oh, sometimes women don't make any sense, even if they are officers. Now, can we go? Right. There. That's better. Now, let's get out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye. And may 
come back. Don't leave. What? what? Where am I? What happened? You're finally coming around. Commander, you're here. What is this place? Where are we? Some kind of reservoir, but I don't know what it could be for. It's really weird. Uh, it's in terrible repair. Though I guess we shouldn't complain. Falling into this liquid is what saved our lives, you know. Well, the liquid might have broken the fall, but you must have saved me from drowning. I was unconscious. Well, I wasn't about to let you die. Uh, but... Why don't we just say that we're even now? You know what I find strange about all this? With all the advanced robot technology these aliens seem to have, why is it they let everything get so run down? Well, maybe that's the one thing they don't know how to do. How can that be? Not sure, but how about this for an idea? Maybe with all the technical knowledge they have, they still only know how to use the equipment, but not how to repair it. Could be. Haven't you noticed that though the systems are complex, they're not impossible to understand? It might be for them. Just think, isn't it strange all the aliens we've seen have been soldiers, no civilians or technicians or maintenance personnel? Now that you mention it, it does seem rather odd. Just about all these aliens do is fight. You know, my father used to have a saying, that only where there is battle being waged is there life being lived. But all that destructive power, I wonder how many worlds, how many civilizations, how many lives they've destroyed. Probably more than we'll ever know. It all seems so senseless. You know, what I can't understand is with all of those worlds to conquer, why are the aliens so interested in the SDF-1? Well, maybe there's something special about our ship. Perhaps it's one of a kind. Maybe they're looking for some Robotech device related to this protoculture they're always talking about, and it's hidden somewhere on board our ship. You must admit, when you think about it, it's really pretty sad. A whole population that's experienced nothing but war. In that respect, they're really no different than I am. How's that? Not when you stop to think that my family has been in the military for the past hundred years. The only life I've ever known has been with the Defense Forces. Even now, all I can think about is the mission. That must be why you ended up at the top of your oh, class. How'd you find out? Oh, all the pilots know. We figure any woman who makes it out with top honors is some kind of supergirl. Uh, I oh. guess that's what it takes to get there. Maybe that's it. I'm always being kidded by Claudia about the men obeying my orders. I mean, she's always saying something like, Oh, Miss Hayes graduated with honors. They're afraid of her. Absurd. Well, enough of that. What about you and Minmay? You're Miss Macross. Huh? Oh, come on, don't be shy. What makes you ask about her? You were crying out her name. Minmay, Minmay. So maybe I was. She must mean something to you, right? Uh, well, not really. I, I mean, she used to be... But, well, ever since she became Miss Macross, they decided to make her a celebrity, and she just hasn't had much time for me. She's a very talented girl. Well, she's made her debut by now, so she's probably become a very important person aboard ship. That's nice, though. Huh? Well, what I mean is at least you have someone. There's somebody back in Macross City that's worth returning to. The only thing waiting for me is another mission. I can't believe that. Uh huh? I can't believe that once we get back, you won't find somebody to care about. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, I am. As beautiful as you are, I bet my life on it. You know, you shouldn't make idle bets with a lady. I'm quite serious. It's all right. We'll know if you're right if we get back to the ship. Shall we? My pleasure. Soldier First Class, Nico and comrades Conda and Braun reporting for duty, sir. Very good. I'm pleased that you three have volunteered to spy on the Micronians. Oh, uh, honor, sir. You will be expected to gather information regarding your knowledge of Robotech. Yes, sir. Upon your successful return, you will be given your own battleship. I have no doubt that you shall succeed like Trues and Trotty. That'll be all. Yes, sir. I don't know where we are, but there's got to be an exit somewhere. Oh, I feel a breeze. Yeah, it's over this way. I don't know which way to go, to the left or to the right. To the left. What? But, but, we did it. We found a way out. I think you're right. What is this place? I don't know. Some kind of loading dock, I guess. Yeah, I'm... Yes! Rick, look! There must be millions of them lined up out there. Why, well, the Earth could never stand a chance against a force like that. Rick, we've got to do whatever it takes to prevent war with them. Yeah, but first we got to do whatever it takes to get us out of here and back to the ship. Right. Yeah. <gasps> Someone's oh. coming. Max, 
We made it! Oh, yeah! Oh. <laughs> Boys, hold up! It's us! Huh? Huh? Lieutenant! I'm just amazed! <laughs> <laughs> so am I. Anybody got any bright ideas on what we should do now? Hey, that cruiser looks like it's getting ready to take off! We're getting nowhere standing around here. We've got a better chance of escaping aboard that cruiser. It might be our one chance to get back to the ship. Huh? So let's don't waste yeah. any more time. Let's get on board. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go. Get ready to jump when it stops. All right, let's go. Delivering spies onto the SDF-1 hardly seems like a mission worthy of my services, Azonia. That's quite enough, Miria. But, Commander, I... This mission happens to be a very special one, ordered by Commander-in-Chief Dolza himself. The Micronians might prove to be more dangerous than their reconnaissance force led us to believe. We are ready to begin fold operations. Once this phase is complete, they'll begin defold operations. Then how will we get out of here? I know what we can do. We can commandeer one of those battle pods. Sounds good, but how do we operate it? That couldn't possibly be a problem for three ace pilots like you boys. Nope. Weren't you in a hurry, Rick? Or am I mistaken? Oh yeah, that's right. Now, let's discuss how to go about getting our spies onto the SDF-1. Why not just leave that up to me? You will deliver them alone. As we're only dealing with Micronians, how difficult could it be? I expected that attitude. You may be surprised. Hurry, they'll be going into default soon! Well, I'm trying to, but I'm having a hard time understanding their control panel. All right, get in. You men will be riding in this capsule. Right. After we default, Miriam will be transporting you to your destination. Oh, Miriam? You mean THE Miriam? That's right, they gave you one of our best pilots. All preparations have been completed as ordered. You're ready for flight. That is. We'll draw the enemy's attention away from you, so have a successful mission. Don't worry. get to meet the Micronians in person. Yeah. Come on, Rick, we've already come out of hyperspace. Hurry up! Yeah, pretty rude of them not to leave me a manual. Huh? Hmm? What? I couldn't hear. Never mind, there isn't time. Well, okay, here goes. We've been discovered! Uh-oh. <gasps> we'll have to fight our way out, right, Max? No problem. <laughs> nice shot, Corporal. It was a close call. Too close. We'd better get out of here while we still can. Getting anything on the transmitter? Not so far. Huh? Ah! That music sounds familiar. It sounds like... It's Minmay! That means... Back Cross City! It must be! That means we're almost there! <laughs> My, my, the big bad enemy doesn't seem so bad at all. They're hardly putting up any resistance. Ah! Oh, what in blazes was that?
This is First Officer Miria reporting, and my mission has been successfully completed. Well done, First Officer Miria. You will now withdraw and report to your assigned rendezvous point. Just one more little turn. Uh, well, I got the radio working. Yeah! That means we'll be able to get through to the bridge. Well, before we all get blown up here in space, you'd better do it. Please respond, SDF-1. This is Lieutenant Commander Hayes and the members of Vermilion Group attempting to make contact with our home base aboard the space cruiser. Do you read me? Over. No response so far. Oh, look! They've come to get us! We're going home! In our next episode, Captain Global plays a dangerous game of cat and mouse as he maneuvers the SDF-1 into a battle which will determine the fate of the SDF-1 and its population of 70,000 refugees. If he's successful, he'll return to Earth victorious. If he fails, then his quest will end. Don't miss Blue Wind, the next thrilling chapter of Robotech. Recruit, we're under attack. I'm Marcella, and you're assigned to my rapid assault E-frame. Climb aboard, cyberjack on, close armor canopy. Launch the loading ranges to survey the battlefield. One o'clock, an amphibious assault E-frame. This is General Shiva, you finished traitor. Incoming Neo Sapien missiles. Let's hit them with our turbosonic rockets. Direct hit. The Neo Sapiens are retreating. Nice shooting, recruit. You just earned your place in Exo Squad. Hey now kids, come gather around See what just skipped in the town So skip it, skip it Do run, do jump, do hop, hop Skip it, skip it Scooping and a screaming and a bop, to bop But the very best thing of all There's a counter on this ball So try to beat your very best score See if you can jump a whole lot more Skip it, skip it Come on everybody, skip it Roaring good fun from Tiger Toy from some time in the not too distant future, it's talking an electronic Robocop. Hands up. Uphold the law. Drop it. You called for backup. Recharge your action figure collection with talking an electronic Robocop in three action pack sizes. Heat unbeatable. be out for hours. Now what? Looks like a job for me, Shira. Out for a little
All right, then. Our preparations have been completed. Yeah! Woo! All right! Oh, this plan will be absolutely perfect. <laughs> Everything is in place and ready. All right, listen up now. This has got to be perfect. Yeah! We strike Halloween night. What's Halloween all about? What? What's the matter with you, Kay? We've been briefed about this. Once a year, everyone, young or old, boy or girl, gets dressed up in costumes, and... That's not what I mean. Huh? I mean, does it have some religious significance? Does it celebrate a god or a saint or... Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a celebration from old Earth or something. Oh, so what you're saying is that you don't know either. And here you acted so knowledgeable. And your point is? With all these parties going on, why are we working on a night like this? Uh, because the city is full of strangers and costumed creeps who could be up to anything savvy. Got it. Got it. I was just asking the question, Yuri. Chill out. Huh? Huh? It's coming! Let's nab him! Right on top of it! Huh? Trolls. Damn. Oh! I presume you're catcher of Pandemonium Laboratories. We're 3WA, arresting you for leaking proprietary materials. If you're looking to live, put your hands on your head for me. That's it. Good boy. Shit. Ah! Damn you! Oh. Don't move. <laughs> no dumb broads are gonna catch me. What was that? What sort of sexist crap just came out of your mouth? Um, Kay? Hey, I've got the drop on you. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! 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 Yeah! Yeah! All, and we have the suspect in custody, so don't worry about it. What about the cargo? Huh? Don't harm me. It's what the bastard stole from the lab. Check on it, and you'd better hope it's all right. Huh? <laughs> Wonderful. This is the first I've heard about a cargo. This place is a wreck. No pun intended. Oh. Just what was in that? And where did it go? Oh, shit! You're telling me the cargo walked off? You idiot! The tactical robot weapon, TRW, was stolen from Pandemonium Labs. It was designed as an urban recon and assault weapon. In terms of how it looks, the device is incomplete without the synthetic skin covering its frame. I'm sending an image of the mechanoid as it appears now. Oh! Damn, that thing's ugly! It looks just like a skeleton. Creepy. You know, if they're going to build a man, they might as well make him handsome enough to hold my attention. Are you telling me you're into artificial men? Is there any other kind? You have a point. Once covered with synthetic skin, the TRW appears sufficiently human to infiltrate enemy territory. Phase one of its mission is to recon the area. 
This is radioed back to headquarters via microburst that also serves as a tracking signal. After a set period of time, the robot enters phase two, becoming a deranged weapon that causes random destruction. Satellite Gooniebird is receiving signals pinpointing the TRW on Rosen Street. Okay, let's go bang this metal monster. We might even have time to party. Sure, after all, it's a holiday of some kind. According to the specifications, the TRW will enter its assault mode exactly one hour after activation. One, one hour? hour? Assuming that the robot left when you crashed at 8 o'clock, then that leaves precisely... Huh? Yuri! K! Working overtime on top of extra duty and on a holiday. It's your fault we're in this mess, K! Huh! Hmm. Damn that dirty pair! Why do they always... What? Gooly, are you still hard at work? Yes, just a little longer. You needed... Nothing at all, just dropped by. I thought you might like to join the rest of us for a drink. But then I can see where that might be difficult when you're in command of diligent employees. <laughs> huh. Better them than you. So how are we supposed to go about finding this metal head? <laughs> how hard could it be, Yuri? Well, look at all these costumes. Some people are even dressed like skeletons. Time check? Maybe 30 minutes or so left. All right, then. Let's quit wasting valuable time. Alley you. Kay! Out, 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 out! Out of the way, people! hi ya mules! Get out of here! Huh, that felt pretty good. Okay, Robo-Boy, come on out of hiding! Tag, you're it! Stand there and don't move, tactical robot weapon! I'm a 3WA trouble consultant. Now be a good boy and come this way. Got him! Kay, I was doing fine without you! You were boring it to death, introducing yourself to a robot. Huh? Oh. Oh. Don't ship those creepy peepers to me, laughing boy. Ugh, and that goes for me as well. Does that thing run on anyway? Asking for professional or for personal reasons. Ah! We're gonna crash! Ooh. Happy days! Whoa! Hmm, pretty good costuming. Looks real to me. Where did he get off to? Ah, Yuri and Kay, welcome. Good evening. Care to join us? Thanks, but, you know, we really shouldn't drink and fly. Yuri, come on. See you later. Good luck. I'm rich, I tell you. Filthy rich. <laughs> hey, Bubba, coming. <laughs> what was that? What the hell is that? Hey, fellas, think you can help us stop metal stuff down there? Hey, you guys, shoot that thing! What are you doing? <laughs> what is that thing made of? <laughs> Y'all up for the service. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Oh, 
No points. No! They're taking chasing us. Help! Police! Ala! Anybody help me! Hey, hey, hey! Come here! Come here! Can't you guys even stop one robot? What a bunch of wimps! My plan, my perfect, perfect plan. Blah. Good evening, miss. Is there anything in this display case that you'd like? Also, pretty hard to make up my mind. I guess I'll take them all. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's stay calm. Just fill me up, big boy. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this time I ever liked an idea that sucked. <laughs> huh? Oh, that stopped it! Lucky us. Please, you're under arrest for property damage, reckless endangerment, resisting arrest. Ah! That thing is ducking the best firepower I've got. Sometimes, Yuri, only a really big one can do the job. Hang on for the ride. <gasps> huh? My, that was effective. Smart ass. Freeze! You're under arrest for aiding, abetting, and loitering. <gasps> oh, crap. <laughs> Let's settle this once and for all. <laughs> Just don't say anything. I don't want to hear it. Bigger is not better. That looks like our boy's work. What would he want in a museum? Maybe he likes the Monet exhibit. This place is as still as a tomb. If he's here, he's hiding pretty well. He's here somewhere, all right. <gasps> what, Yuri? It's just an exhibit of ancient armor. Yeah, right. That miserable hunk of tin is hiding in here somewhere. I guess we'll just have to check them one by one. Hand me that thing, will ya? Anybody in here wanna dance? Stop, please stop! Okay, okay, we surrender. Oh, just please don't shoot us. Huh? What is this? We give up? We, we don't know how you found us, but we give up. What the hell is going on here? Are you trying to rob the museum? Huh? You mean you're not here to take us in? Actually, we're after bigger fish. But we'll be happy to fry you first. Huh? Ah! Oh! You won't get away! Sequence number four one two six. Four one two six. Come on, come on, hurry up! What's so tough about unlocking an electronic combination anyway? First lock is open. First lock open. Come on, Brats, get a move on! Ah! Three WA, ma'am, have you seen a robot? Uh uh, he's in there. Thanks. Oh. Ah! Eleven minutes left. I know, I know. Ugh. 
This is a strange place for a tunnel, isn't it? Tunnel? This is the Central Metro Tube! Metro Tube? Hmm. Main Park is next. Next stop, Main Park. What? What the hell is that? <laughs> Greatest goddamn dragon dance I ever saw! Where is he? Look! He's up there! I hate to remind you, but we're almost out of time. Then we should split up and surround him. Okay. Yeah, let's finish off this son of a bitch. You with me? You back? Right, here we go. <gasps> huh? It's zero hour! I get one. Not funny. <laughs> it's finally started. The famous Halloween fireworks. Hey, I'm on it. Fireworks are really great this year. They've really outdone themselves. Whoa, what if we set up a really big one? Huh? What? Oh. Ah, oh, that's good. 
good. A tall, cold one after hard work. The best. Yeah, it sure is addictive. I hope that Chief Ghoulie won't be angry with us. We caused a bit more damage than we usually do. Well, it wasn't our fault. We did solve the case, and we don't have to listen to Ghoulie's lecture until tomorrow. <laughs> you have a point. Hey, Halloween night is still young. Shall we see what else the evening may hold? I'll drink to that. To Halloween night! Happy, Happy Halloween! What I say is, this whole Halloween thing really sucks! Versus his enemies of destruction, the king of all monsters against the baddest beasts of all time, Rodan, Mothra, Ghidra, Mecha Ghidra, and Mecha Godzilla. It's an eye flashing, tail whipping, building bashing Godzilla war, and only the strong survive. Godzilla rules. This new game called Splat. Oh, I hate when that happens. No, we love it. Splat, Splat, Splat and Bugs is where it's at. Splat. That wasn't so bad. That was. The game Splat. You make bugs in the bugomatic. Don't splat my bug. If you don't want your bugs to get splatted, you got to be the first to get them to safety. Splat and Bugs is where it's at. Splat. I hate when that happens. No, we love it. Splat from Milton Bradley. seen planets like this before. You transform heroic planet rock into a mighty war planet with massive armies. You construct shadow reader moons to build the ultimate war planet of unlimited power. Massive weapons to face the ultimate evil, the beast planet. Weapon fire on every side. Reveal the planet-eating claw inside. You transform mighty planet bones with stinging tentacle attack. You transform heroic planet ice with freeze ray missile blast. A universe at your command. Weapons smashing. Planets blessing. Missiles fire away for all out war. All out war planets take command. The power is in your hands. Totally new war planets each sold separately. You can collect them all. Batteries not included. Infinite energy beyond scientific understanding. Now, this energy has been transformed into a new weapon.
The top secret weapon, codenamed Unit G, was taken from the Cronus Laboratory and accidentally discovered by Sho Fukumachi. Sho triggered the unit, activating a process which transformed him into the Gaiba. An enhanced being with extraordinary powers and abilities. What is the Gaiba? What a disaster. We failed to recover the Gaiva unit. Zoinoids appeared in public. Someone activated the unit and we lost Gregor and Vamur. Kronos is the only organization which has successfully activated the Zoinoids, which means someone else activated the unit. The fool should have at least figured that out. It's too bad they weren't debriefed about the unit. Well, even you, the boss, doesn't know what it is. I understand your concern as commander. This failure might warrant your termination from Kronos. It must be hard for you bearing the responsibility for this terrible mishap. I want to ask you something, Lisker. What exactly is that, Mr. Makashima? I want to know what precisely you're going to put into your supervisor's report to headquarters. We're there, Mr. Makashima. Yes. You probably don't even know the meaning of the word Giver. It means out of control. Something that originated with the Zoonoids and Giver's creators. Are you able to understand all of this? I don't know what you mean. Out of control? Doesn't fit into any category. No one knows what the Giver truly is. But we know one thing for certain. The Giver is a bioweapon. Let's examine the unit they successfully retrieved, since that's what I was sent here for. I heard it was damaged. Well, it sustained some minor damage to the metal, but we don't suspect any extensive damage to the internal mechanisms. I'll see more when you open it up. That's foolish and dangerous, Lisker. Right, the Gyber is something that must have more analysis on it before someone makes any attempt to open it up. My responsibility is to report all information regarding the transportation of the unit to Japan. I must see inside of it. Don't be concerned. I'll be responsible. So this is the thing they call the Giver Unit. I was really worried about you when I heard you had a fever. Sorry about worrying you, but I'm feeling so much better this afternoon. Oh, the food is great. Thanks, Mizuki. You're welcome. I think I should have made you something different since you're feeling so much better today. No, no, this is great. Thanks. You're welcome. I was smart to ask Mizuki to come since you live alone with your father. I thought you might need some help. Yeah, you're right. I really do appreciate all your help. I'll also fix dinner for your father. No, no, that's too much to ask of you. You just stay here in bed, otherwise your fever might come back. Mizuki, wait! Oh. Bring all your dirty clothes, and I'll wash, too. Great, thanks.
Well, we couldn't say you were attacked by a slime monster instead of having a fever. Are you really okay? There are these things on my back. What things? Here, look. Oh, no. Yeah, two of them. Doesn't this look like... Yeah, the thing we found. I noticed them on me yesterday, but they were much larger than they are now. Well, at least they're not spreading all over your entire body like some deadly parasitic virus, you know. Don't try to scare me. That's not funny. This thing isn't happening to you. <laughs> Sorry. You really should go see a doctor, though. Show! I've come to get your dirty laundry. Huh? Wow, I never knew you two were so close. Hey, what are you trying to say? That's right! You know, if someone of equal ability has the other unit, none of your zoonoids could defeat him. What? Now, since I, too, have the power of the Giver, I am the only one who can complete this mission and retrieve the other Giver. A bioweapon? Yes, creatures engineered as weapons. I was thinking that the monsters which attacked you can't be created very easily. There must be a powerful organization who's engineering them. All of the soldiers must be trained in some military unit. As wild as it may seem, I can't think of any other explanation. What do you think, Sho? He can't be serious. He must be crazy. Hmm? What did you say? Lighten up! But if you could get your hands on such a powerful bioweapon, nothing on Earth could stop you. Tetsuro, what are you talking about? I'm not saying let's go out and find it. Of course not. We don't want to get involved any further. Tetsuro was right. I can't even concentrate. I wonder if it's still in the lake. Mr. Fukumachi! Mr. Fukumachi! Is something wrong? Are you all right, Mr. Fukumachi? What's the matter with you? Yes, I'm fine, fine. I guess you're still sick. You really should see a doctor and go home. But really, I'm... That should be your main priority right now, Mr. Fukumachi. I will. I told you not to come leave to school alone, today. Leave me alone, Mizuki. I told you. Mizuki, Why did you come leave to me alone. Today? Now move oh. it. My God, Mizuki, what are you so mad about? Just try to take care of yourself. Mizuki, wait! You think I should see a dermatologist? No, you've got to go to a physician. Are you Tetsura Sagawa? Huh? huh? What, please? We're investigating the explosion in the Mount Narasawa area. I need you to come with us and answer a few questions because we're having trouble gathering evidence. There have been many strange accidents lately. I'm afraid you'll have to come with us. Are you aware of the truck that exploded two days ago? We know you were in the area and we need you to come with us right now. Well, uh, do you think it would help if I come? No, sure. Sure, no problem, no problem. Show, what did you say? Tell me again. I said I'm going to tell these guys about the things we saw and maybe they can help. We can't keep it to ourselves. <laughs> so what is it you boys think you're going to tell me? About men who could turn into monsters or something like that? What? Stop the car! <laughs> oh, you bastards can't kidnap us! We've captured the human targets. Good. Bring them in. Huh? Welcome, Mr. Sagawa. The Kronos Corporation and I require your complete cooperation. What? 
What do you mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. Tetsuro! Now, tell me, you've seen this before. Where is it? I don't know. You must know. It was the guy that helped you the other day, you little punk. Now tell me where it is, all right? The Giver? <clears throat> tell me! I I'm serious, I really don't know anything! Ramochis, why don't you play with the other kid? He might tell us something. <laughs> Stop! Show doesn't know anything! Leave us alone! <laughs> He's not involved! Leave him alone! <laughs> so, if that is right, then why don't you tell us everything? No! <laughs> oh, it's in the lake! It's in the lake! Come on! Really? Promochis, bite the young man's arm off. Please believe us! I'm telling you the truth! He's in the lake! He disappeared into the lake! We've already checked the lake. Nothing's there, so tell us the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the young man could take much more of this. What do you think, Tetsuro? Stop! Stop it! This isn't a game. Tell us where we can find the Giver unit. The Giver unit? If you could get such a powerful bioweapon, nothing on Earth could stop you. It was the Giver that helped you the other day. Where is the Giver unit? Where is the Giver? 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 Ah! What? Son. Huh? Show! I don't believe it. The kid had the Giver. Disintegrating. Tetsuro! What happened? I don't really know. When I heard the word Giver, I just focused on it. Wishing I had the power. You saw what happened next. What's wrong? Someone's here. I am surprised a kid has the Giver unit. Oh no, it's him again! You! Who are you? 
My name is Lisker. I was sent here from the Kronos Corporation headquarters. It is a pleasure to meet you, Guyver. Bio-booster armor of still unknown power. It can join with an intelligent being and convert its natural power into enormous energy. This armor has a control metal which regulates the unit's output. It also controls transformation and prevents power overload. This is what we call the Giver. Only three such units exist on Earth. You have one, which makes you very valuable to us. We need you to come back to Kronos. No way! I'm not going anywhere! A friendly reminder, you have no hope of defeating me, even with the Giver. You never know! That's unfortunate. units are the same, then the advantage will go to the better skilled fighter. And if Lisker is a better trained soldier, oh no! Show! Now it's your turn! You don't understand, do you? You don't have a chance. I'll never cooperate. You'll have to kill me Fine. first. I'll kill you and take what's left of you, Kronos. It doesn't matter. You can't even control the Giver. But I can. Watch. Control it!
Look, his control metal seems to be malfunctioning. What? My control metal was damaged. What happens if the control metal fails? No! How could this happen to me? and it eats you alive. The birthday girl, Mandy. Now's the time to get to Hallmark for all those March birthdays. Otherwise, who knows what you'll end up sending. March birthdays are almost here. See you at Hallmark. Pizzas, two crazy breads, two servings of Coke Classic for $7.98 at Little Caesars. It's a party party. Take the 50 most popular cereals in America. What if you had to choose between them based solely on the side panels? No brand names, no fancy packages, just the plain and simple facts. You'd find only one is low in sugar and a good source of fiber and made from whole grain oats. Cheerios. Compare the side panels and see for yourself. The choice is Cheerios. Sarah, wait! What do you want with your fries? I love your eyes too, darling. The Big Mac or the Quarter Pounder with cheese. What do you want with your fries? What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Now, hair that's styled can be beautiful to touch. The Finesse Styling Collection. Each has a touch of conditioner, so you get the hold that loves to be held.
My dear little sister, you're not the weakling I thought you were, or you would already have been rejected by the techno system and liquidated within the pod. If your metamorphosis is total, you shall emerge from the pod as a techno man, nearly immortal, with powers beyond your wildest imaginings and loyal only to Darkon. If not, you will emerge as an unfinished techno man with limited powers and only a few days left to live. Either way, by the time you emerge, I will have destroyed our brother Blade and his little space knight friends. The space knights. If it hadn't been for you, I wouldn't be human anymore. But some kind of alien monster. I owe you all big time, especially you, Star. You're human. You're flesh and blood like me. Not a monster. You risked your life for me. Would a monster have done that? If you stop fighting because you're afraid of what may happen, the aliens will have won. We can't let them. Don't you understand? You're the only one who can save the planet Earth. Listen to me. However you became what you are, doesn't matter. All that matters is what you do now. Right. Here's that update you asked for, sir, showing the location and growth rate of the spore plants. Very good work. Thank you, sir. Anything else, sir? No, you're free to go, Star. Commander? That's odd. I've never known Star to wear perfume before. Lovely scent, whatever it is. Just one more load and I'll be done. Mmm, what a wonderful scent. New perfume, Star? Yo, Earth to Star, do you copy? Way to go, Ringo. That techno suit is incredible. He hasn't missed once. Unfortunately, it's not ours. Commander Jameson agreed to give it back to the military as soon as we're finished testing it. And that means, of course, that old baldy General Galt will be taking control of it. Want to bet? After all, Ringo handled himself pretty well on that last mission. Who are they going to find who can pilot the techno suit as well as he can? Even old baldy will have to admit to that. Yeah, you're right. And if Blade wore a techno suit, he wouldn't have to transform, which would mean that our modification of Pegasus would no longer be necessary. Yeah, and he wouldn't have his Technoman powers either. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. All right, Mac, I'll finish the modifications as fast as I I'll can. I'll give you three more minutes, Maggie, just three more. You got that? Hey, Mac, let's take a break, huh? That's three hours straight. What do you think we're here for, laddie? Cocoa and cookies? Cocoa, anyone? Oh. I'm giving her cooking lessons, and that cocoa is her first assignment. Thank you, Lass. It smells wonderful. Nice. You know, it looks like those military guys finally did something right. That techno suit's terrific. Hmm? Is that perfume I smell? I guess you must be trying out a new one, right, Maggie? Not bad. Star's the one with the new perfume, Ringo, not me. Star? I've never known you to wear perfume before. Well, there's always a first time, right? I just thought I'd try something new. I don't understand what all the fuss is about. Careful, Star. Hi. Hello, Blade. Been working out at the gym? That's right. Excuse me, I gotta take a shower. <sighs> Star. You want to say something, say it. All right. Thank you for all the things you've done on my behalf. Huh? Our friendship means a lot to me. Just friends, understand. But what do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. What you need is to think about something else for a while. How about a little game of racquetball? Listen, I don't want to tell you how to run your love life, but don't you think it's about time you told Star how you feel? 
She likes you a lot, Blade, but she isn't going to wait forever. Wait for what? What are you talking about? This is driving me crazy. I don't know how he feels. You know what I'm talking about. You're in love with her. Whoops. Fall down, go boom. You are in love with her, aren't you? What's your point? I've known Star for a long time now, and I'll bet you anything you like, she feels the same way about you. That new perfume of hers? She's never worn perfume before, so why would she start wearing it now? The answer should be obvious, even to an insensitive dolt like you. She's in love with you, pal, and you feel the same way about her. But instead of doing something about it, you keep your feelings bottled up inside you. Because you're afraid that once she got to really know you, she wouldn't be in love with you anymore, right? That's right. How could she? Because what she wants is a man, not some storybook hero. She knows you're not perfect, and she loves you anyway. The ball's in your court, pal, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Good. Now I'm going to show you what this game's all about. Very soon, I shall emerge from the techno system with the power to destroy you. Then, the planet Earth shall belong to my master, Darkon. Something wrong? Blade? Blade, answer me! You'll never escape, Shara. Never. First you, then Blade. Checking now. Blade, you said Saber's last known location was point 1020 Mark 3, correct? That's right. Excuse me, folks. This is your pilot speaking. Welcome aboard and thanks for flying the Blue Earth. Hey, Blade, you sure these are the right coordinates? This place is as quiet as an empty church. Yeah, too quiet. Okay, you guys, listen up. I'll start at the northern end of the town and you start at the southern end. We'll join up in the middle. Good plan. Let's do it. Right. By the way, Star, I've been meaning to tell you. I love that perfume you wear. See ya. I think Saber must have split before we got here. If you were anywhere near this area, I'd have sensed his presence. What's up, Blade? Something wrong? No. Might as well take a look around. Star? Yes? I, uh, <clears throat> I really like your perfume. What? That scent you're wearing, it's nice. Huh? You mean you noticed? Thank you, Blade. He's here. What? We've got to find Ringo. Pegas, keep Star with you. Affirmative. Blade, wait! Blade! Good hiding place, Saber. Church is the last place I'd look for you. What do you want? If you don't know that, you're a bigger fool than I thought. Oh! 
Oh, my gosh. That's the guy I saw in the mall, the one I told you about. Stay back. He's dangerous. Pegasus, protect Star. Who are you, Saber? I'm your worst nightmare, sweetheart. Actually, I'm worse than that. Because I'm a whole lot scarier than any character your tiny little brain is capable of imagining. I'm sure my brother would agree with me. No wonder they look alike. They're twin brothers. She's very pretty, Blake. A special friend, perhaps. You're wasting time. She has nothing to do with what's going on here. This is between you and me. Now let her go. Believe me, Blade, I wouldn't think of keeping her here against her will. I wouldn't want the young lady to be subjected to anything unpleasant. Perhaps she and I can become better acquainted after I'm through with you. What are you waiting for? What's wrong? You still afraid of me? Huh? Me afraid of you? Don't be absurd. When we were being trained in the martial arts, you were never able to beat me. You couldn't win then, and you won't be able to now. You really believe that, don't you? Your childhood memories are touching, to be sure. But you're about to find out we're not kids anymore. Star! You've got to find Ringo and tell him what's going on here. On my way. Pegasus! Power on! Affirmative. Why fight for this dirt ball Earth when you could join us as rulers of the galaxy? Because this particular dirt ball is the property of the human race, and we're not about to let you or anyone else take it away from us. That's where you're wrong, Blade. Dead wrong. Here! Your feelings for the human female called Star are strong, and therefore a weakness, or you'd obviously do anything to protect her. Well, well, this would hit a nerve. I wonder how well you'd fight if she weren't around to cheer you on. What? It's me you're after, not her! Save her! Wait! <gasps> Are you hurt? Just a flesh wound. Why attack Star Saber? She's no threat to you. I admit, it was a terrible thing to do. Attacking an innocent bystander without warning. My goodness. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Use. Techno Bones! Reflectors. Power on. I'm all right. I just got the wind knocked out of me. Are you sure? Yeah, that new weapon of his caught me by surprise. Thanks to the newest addition to my techno weapon system, your most effective defense, the techno bolt, has been rendered useless. For my reflectors enable me to use our own power against you. Blade? It's too powerful. I can't win. How do you know until you try? I believe this techno bolt belongs to you, Blade. Farewell, brother. Forget it, Saber. Sorry I couldn't get here sooner. You do all right? Blade isn't. Oh, Saber did a real number on me. Looks like the champ has another challenger. You ready, Saber? Anytime you are. Shara. She's close, very close. Can't let Saber win. Fight. Till next time, Blade. How's he doing, Star? Is he gonna be okay? Yeah, I think so, but we've gotta get him back to the base. 
No problem. Leave it to me. Shara. Shara. You can't hide much longer, Shara. Sooner or later, I'll find you. You're a traitor like our brother Blade, but much easier to destroy. I'll be seeing you soon, little sister. Very soon. Twin brothers? That's incredible. You're absolutely sure, Star? Yes. I can see the headlines now. Space Knight's brother works for aliens, helping them to conquer the Earth. Save the humor. I'm just not in the mood for it. Knowing that he might not recover makes laughing a bit difficult. Right. Take care of him, Star. The human race is depending on him to give us our world back, to give us a future. Without Blade, without Techno Man, we wouldn't have a chance. Well, Maggie, been any change yet? No. They've tried a bunch of different treatments, but nothing's worked. long time, Blade. How long? Two and a half, maybe three days. <sighs> you were talking in your sleep about your sister. Her name is Shara, right? Perhaps you'll find her again someday. Shara's out there somewhere. You know she is. They're back in theaters everywhere with a special edition that includes never-before-seen footage. You might think you're an oversized guppy and gobble you up. Relive the adventure with America's coolest spy family. I want to save the world. Again. Carmen, you need to close your eyes. We don't want you to see this, okay? There's more excitement than ever before. That was intense. Spy Kids Special Edition, rated PG. Only in theaters Wednesday, August 8th. You look like you could use some breakfast. How about some honey nut Cheerios? It's okay, it's okay. Look, it's got real golden honey. Honey, good. Good. Anytime. Good. It's honey nut Cheerios. Part of this good breakfast. Expands from Five Star. The tough, durable school supplies with a zippered section that lets you carry more. Hot quiz! Put everything away. So how much more can you fit in Expands? A lot. Expands from Five Star. Build strong to last long. Chicken tenders, big kids meal, please. Okay. Double cheeseburger, big kids meal. Got it.
Now you can nail tricks like the pros and catch big moves from Dave Mira, Ryan Nyquist, Bucky Lassick, or others on your own replay screen. One of five extant sports sets is in your big kids meal, only at Burger King, home of the real big kids meal. You just gotta complain about everything, don't you? Hmm, huh? You have just cleared checkpoint one, Outlaw Star. Hey, I gotta tell you, that was one heck of a stunt you pulled out there. I know. Where do we stand now? Well, let's see. You just blew past 12 ships. There are 13 ships ahead of you, but your time puts you in sixth as of now. We're only in sixth after all we went through? You know, you're not the only ones who took that route just now, but I'll tell you, you are the only ones who slipped past that wave. Yeah, well, I thought I'd try to make the race a little more exciting. I get you. Well, now you have a good race, okay? Next up is the fifth planet, Haifong 5, distance about 500 million kilometers. All right, then. Let's go to Sub Ether and jump this stretch. What do you say? A rookie ship, Outlaw Star, has suddenly jumped up in rank when it cleared the first checkpoint and is now currently in sixth place. What do you think will happen later, Mr. Ishigaki? Good question. With the Outlaw Star in sixth place, it's certainly the dark horse. Making a single orbit around this thing is an easy checkpoint. It's obvious. What do you think, Jim? Huh? Hey, Jim! Huh? Hang in there, Jim. We're almost to the aid station. <sighs> yeah, you're right. You know, we're supposed to pull the ship over so we can run maintenance for at least an hour. All systems show normal, showing all green. Well, in that case, let's run maintenance on ourselves. Come on, you guys. Let's go get something to eat. <laughs> Ship. I finally caught up with him. Pardon me, guys. Are you the crew of the El Dorado? Yeah, that's right. And who's asking? First of all, which one of you's McDougal? There's nobody by that name here. Yeah, right. Like I'm supposed to believe you. The McDougal brothers are the ones who own the El Dorado. Who are you talking about? I haven't the foggiest idea what you mean. 
Look, don't be stupid. It doesn't look like the guy that Hilda talked to is here, but I remember that ship all right. You don't fool me. I wouldn't forget that for anything. That is definitely the same ship that attacked us at Farfalla's. What are you trying to pull here, mister? Let go of Harry right now! Hey, Terry, Leo, it's okay! Look here, I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never been to Farfalla's or whatever. All right, then, why were the K-Pirates looking for the XGP? And why did your people try to destroy the XGP? If you keep trying to pick a fight, I'll just have to call the race staff Fine, on. Fine, go ahead, but if you're smart, you cut out all the bullshit and just level with me. Somebody! This guy's interfering with the race! Is there a problem here? <laughs> nah, he was just telling me about the house special, right? Uh, uh, well, sounds great, but I better be going. The special will have to wait till next time. Thanks anyway, buddy. See you later. Hey, Harry, who was that guy? Shut your mouth. <sighs> that son of a... I can't believe it. He survived Farfalla's? Everything okay here, sir? You need some help? No, everything's okay. Thank you. Watching you deal with that guy scared the hell out of me, Gene. God, talk about just blowing a bunch of hot air. Yeah, well, that's only if the guy wasn't McDougal. But if that really was him, then he can't ignore us anymore. You'll see. He'll make contact. Excuse me, but that ship is starting out now. How soon can we leave? In 11 minutes. Once we catch up, I'll show them a thing or two. Attention all ships! We've been told that an ether stream is forming that stretches from Haifong 5 to Checkpoint 4A at Haifong 1. The use of Checkpoint 4B at Haifong 2 is recommended. You I heard repeat, what he said. Now, let's see how the Eldorado handles it. Leo, give me the official data on the ship that left after us. Okay. Is that the XGP? The ship in last place has now cleared the second checkpoint. Two ships have currently dropped out due to engine trouble. Let's hope that no other Where ships... Where do you think Gene might trouble. be with the outlaw star? I have no idea, but this pathetic broadcast is barely covering the pirate ships. The third checkpoint is the Leon Lagrange Point, which is 140 million kilometers from Haifong 5. Lady Asia will be reaching the third checkpoint in just a moment. What is that out there? They say that a long time ago, a satellite in orbit around Haifong 5 had been destroyed by something and all the debris from the destruction was collected there. Reduce speed immediately! Like I really need to be told that. It's all yours, Harry. Well, we would never gain any time without me at the helm, Leo. Is there something you'd like to share with us, Lady Asia? I'm looking for a place to set up an ambush. Huh? Set, set up an ambush. ambush? Prepare for battle! Huh? Prepare, Prepare for, for battle? battle? Battle systems, get ready! We will now launch a sneak attack on the Outlaw Star! Attack with a single machine gun? A single machine gun? <laughs> what about your Guri Guri missiles or a Gagagan cannon, huh? We are not equipped with anything like that. And you call this an Imperial ship? What are you saying? The Naburu Bori Bori ship is just for trading with Haifong. <laughs> I don't know what kind of orders you've been given from the Empire, Lady Asia, but this ship can't make an attack. I can't believe this! All right, then! It's time for a clever scheme from Asia! There it is! Ether density is climbing and is surging irregularly. Subspace radar error has increased to 24%, and effective radius for standard radar is also down 30%. We'll have to forego the instruments and rely on our eyes. Now you're about to see how good I can really be. Come on, Gene, slow down! Yeah, sure, I will. Current speed is 12 kilometers per second. It's clear for the next 180 kilometers, but I do see some big asteroids after that. What's the shortest route to the checkpoint? Please change course to one o'clock low. Roger that. That's it! Let's do it! We have cleared the checkpoint. Yeah, way to go! All we have to do now is get the hell out of here. Mayday, Mayday! This is the Naburu Bori Bori.
Sorry, I've collided with an asteroid. I've abandoned ship due to risk of explosion. Request assistance! Request assistance! It's an emergency rescue transmission. I've pinpointed his location. I'll put it up on the screen. Gene, what do you think we should do? I know the course marshal will come by soon and they'll be sure to take care of him. Ah, uh, let's help the poor guy out. Gene, what are you pulling? That's not like you. Believe me, it's no fun to be stranded out in space. It's a feeling I try hard not to remember. Do you see him, Gene? Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, what's wrong? I'm just a little dizzy. Will you be okay? Yeah, I think I can handle it. Okay now, you're gonna be fine. Pressurization complete. Were you the only crew member? Or were there others still out there? Uh, you won't get away from me this time, you sucker! Uh, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> The ones who have the key to the galactic ley line are those McDougal guys? They sure have more information on Hilda than I do, that much I can tell you. Do you really expect me to believe that you know absolutely nothing about the galactic ley line? If we did, we would have gone there a long time ago. Look, when we find something out, we'll be sure to tell you. Now get off the ship and go bug someone else. No way, I can't. There's no way I can go back to the Empire like this. I can't go back. They treat me like I'm useless. You're the only lead I have. Do you understand me? Until I get my hands on what I want, I'm not going anywhere! Jean, what are you gonna do with her? Being popular with the girls ain't easy. That's not what I meant. I've never seen a ship like this before. It's way behind any Katarl Katarl ship. It won't move unless you're naked. Oh, that's very kinky, wouldn't you say? How dare you talk about the galaxy's fastest, most advanced ship like that? <gasps> what the hell is that thing? I am not a thing. I'd appreciate it if you would call me Gilliam. What the? It's a computer? Wow. Enough of this. Let's get back to racing. My plan to catch up with the Eldorado sure went up in smoke. It's becoming useless. Oh, great. The cat girl shows up and everything gets totally whacked. If we don't finish in third or better, we're going to be in debt even deeper. Now preparing for sub-ether drive. Please handle course corrections. All right, roger. Estimated time to sub-ether penetration, 24 minutes. I can't see! Three ships have recently dropped out after having cleared the third checkpoint. That leaves 35 ships heading for the fourth checkpoint. We'll have more... <sighs> All of this traveling has worn me out. I'm gonna take a little cat nap right here. Wake me up when we get there, okay? Yeah, sure, whatever. <sighs> Switching over to sub-ether drive. Munchausen reactor output regular and climbing. Ether outbreak threshold breached. Course laid in, relative coordinates verified. Now forming sub-ether bubble. <sighs> Quiet down, will ya? Objects are closing in from rearward. There's an 87% probability they are missiles. I don't get it. I didn't think anybody was after us. We'll just intercept them, that's all. We can't. We're transforming to sub-ether mode. Just great. How long till we go to sub-ether? 18 seconds. Missiles will impact in 16 seconds. I'll shake them off. Ah! Mm -hmm. What's going on now? Preparations for jump to light speed is now complete. Sub-ether penetration in 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, zero. We're gonna make it. Ah! Damn, Harry, that was really awesome. <laughs> they went to sub-ether while they were being hit with gravity waves. Too bad, they'll probably disintegrate. Okay, we can prepare to go to sub-ether now. Hey, Harry, what was the big deal with that ship anyway? 
As far as my brother and I are concerned, it was just an eyesore. <laughs> Sub-Ether Drive! Emergency abort! The Munchausen reactor is out of control! W what the hell's going on? Stress on the ship is climbing, now exceeding any safety factor. That's it! I'm cutting all engine systems! Yeah. Hey, come on! Wake up, will ya? Uh, is everyone okay? Melfina? Yes, I'm fine. We are currently operating on auxiliary power, so there's no information regarding what's outside. Please restart the ship. Unbelievable. Life goes on and on. It's too much. Testing. Testing. Where the heck are we anyway? to say we have safely returned to normal space. Fortunately, we don't seem to be too far away from the Hayfox system. I will try to calculate our position. This ship is a lot tougher than I thought. I believe I already mentioned it. I am the fastest, most advanced ship in the galaxy. <clears throat> know where we are? Yes, Jean. We are slightly outside the orbit of Hayfong 5, about 360 million kilometers above its orbital plane. How long has it been since we jumped? Ship's clock says it's been 2 minutes 24 seconds since sub-ether entry. Bring us up to date, Gilliam. What's the status report? Life support, all communications, and all sensors show normal. Irregularities confirmed in the ether drive system. Newton reactors 1 and 3 are inoperable. Ah! All right then, activate Newton reactors 2 and 4, and lay in a stable course for checkpoint 4. I perceive that you want to continue the race. You think I'd give up when we can still move under our own power? The sub-ether drive still works, right? Yes, but two reactors are at 50% output. That's not enough for sub-ether entry. We are working under a lower level of propulsion. How many hours to checkpoint four just using the ether drive? The distance is 600 million kilometers at 50% propulsion. It would take about 96 hours. The race would already be over. Yeah. <sighs> What's the deal? You've given up? Somebody just blasted you with a couple of missiles and you're just gonna sit there and cry. The ship's busted! We're stuck! What are we gonna do? We don't stand a chance! We're all doomed! Oh no! We're really doomed! We failed! We'll never make it! To a Katal Katal, this attitude of yours is all wrong! A Katal Katal never accepts defeat! To a Katal Katal, it's all about justice, courage, and tenacity! With Doesn't you know by now we're not Katarl we Katarl? It takes guts to go swimming in the ether sea, and it's obvious. By Wait, the way ether? These guys operate that you don't Gilliam, have any. can you tell where that ether stream is forming? Oh my, let us take a look. Ah, here it is. The stream runs from Haifang Five to Haifang One. I've located it. Asia, sit down. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> now, what are you planning to do? I don't care if we win or lose, but I've got an idea. I think it can work. It's at least worth trying. You don't mean what I think you mean. Jim, you know any normal ship would be history if it went straight into an ether stream. That is, any normal ship. I'd say this is no ordinary ship. That's it, exactly. I noticed something surprising when I saw the operating manual. This ship can make it out of an ether stream with no problem, which means we're gonna take this baby... I don't wanna hear it! ...and ride that ether stream all the way! <laughs> Let's go! Guys, enjoy the ride. You're in good hands. I can handle this. I can do it. How do you know? I don't. I knew it. That's okay. It's a first time for everything. Ah! Combat is the best practice. Yeah! Let's get that missile, guy. Just past checkpoint four, El Dorado. What's our standing? According to our checkpoint data, as the standings read, you are currently in fourth place. So now it all depends upon which ships are headed for Haifong One, isn't that right? However, we have recently been notified that there is an ether stream that is in the surrounding areas of Haifong One. So finishing above fourth is a sure thing. <laughs>
But why is my heart pounding like this? What? Where did they come from? It looks like they're riding the ether stream. By accident? No, it looks like it was deliberate. What, are they stupid? Open a channel to them. I want communication now. This is Ship 26, the Outlaw Star. What's our current standing? How should I know? But in dumbass stunts, you're in first place. Great, glad to hear it. Outlaw Star signing off. Gilliam, get ready. We're using Haifong 1 for a gravity slingshot. Whoa. 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 I thought we were going to be goners. But if we can keep this up, we might actually make the top three. The first to arrive is the Trihorse Corporation Sunbeam 545. They have a lock on first place. And next is the Penelope Corporation's Bonaparte. The time difference with the trailing ships might be a problem. Tell us where Gene is! The Bonaparte has secured second place now. We're still waiting to see who's behind in third place. Oh, the tension is building! And the third place ship has come into view! It's the Outlaw Star! And it's a goal! The Outlaw Star privateers the third ship to finish. But watch out, the Hisetsu, which began just two minutes later, is also about to finish. Hey, get away! If it comes in more than two minutes after us, we win. The Sivan Industries Hisetsu has now cleared the goal. And it's time... It's beaten out the Outlaw Star for third place! Uh. Oh. Damn it, and they were so close! You need to hurry. Why? We finished fourth. What's the awards presentation got to do with us? Well, you finished fourth overall, but you were first in the privateer category. Yeah, but that doesn't mean a damn thing to Fred Lowe. What does he care? Hey, what do you think you're doing? We're with the privateer Outlaw Stars first place winner. Yeah! <laughs> Well, it's pretty good advertising in spite of their coming in fourth. But Fred, what about the sponsorship fee? Oh, I guess I'll give them half, 200,000. Okay, so the costume's a little flashy, but it's not like I'm gonna live in it. What did you say? Huh? Come here. <clears throat> what do you mean the El Dorado has dropped out? Well, yes, that's it, sir. We have a comm cube with your name on it. And it was sent directly from the El Dorado, huh? Sent to me? 